Dr. Skip Finnell is a math, is a math panel member uh, and the past president of the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. He uh, is a mathematics education professor at, Mac, at McDaniel College. He is a member of the National Mathematics Panel and the past president of the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. In 1990, he was honored as Maryland's Outstanding Mathematics Educator, and the Council for the Advancement and Support of Education and the Carnegie Foundation named Mr. Fennell Professor of the Year in Maryland in 1997. Good morning, Chairman Miller and Congressman McKeon. Uh, as noted, my name is Francis Skip Fennell. I'm Professor of Education at McDaniel College in Westminster, Maryland, and recent past president of the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics and a recent member of the National Mathematics Advisory Panel. As you noted, the National Math Panel was appointed by the President to advise uh, the Secretary and the President on the best use of scientifically based research to advance the teaching and learning of mathematics. This, the panel was charged with making recommendations on improving mathematics achievement for all students with a focus on preparing students for success in algebra. This report has 45 recommendations. To distill those 90 pages in five minutes is somewhat of a challenge. And so what I'm going to do is, if you will, give you uh, snapshots of, of particular issues that are critically important to all of us. You mentioned in your opening re remarks the concern we have relative to curriculum structure around this country. In a nutshell, classroom teachers today are faced with far too many objectives and expectations. There are states in this country that have well over 100 expectations or objectives in a given instructional year. You cannot do that well. Um, one of the things that, that the panel did was take a look at what does it take to get kids to be successful in algebra and building off the work of the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics Curriculum Focal Points distilled what we refer to as critical foundations for algebra. That is, when students get into that course called algebra, whether it's a course with algebra as its title or within an integrated mathematics curriculum, they really need to know and know well everything possible about working with whole numbers, everything possible about working with fractions, fractions being defined here as fractions, decimals, percent, ratio leading on to work with proportion. Um, and, and then also particular aspects of geometry and measurement. Not that that's all of what they would experience prior to algebra, but these are, if you will, the must-haves. So that's really important to us in our critical foundations and our benchmarks, which are suggest suggestive of particular grade placement, goes into that as well. Um, we note that, that one of the reasons for the panel's existence was to help define algebra and, and recognize the importance of algebra. Algebra is clearly a gateway or passport, if you will, to higher level mathematics. Students who complete Algebra two are more than twice as likely to graduate from college compared to students with, with less mathematical preparation. This is particularly true among African American and Hispanic students. I'm certain that you'll hear more about the gateway nature of algebra in a few minutes from Laura Slover here uh, with her work relative to achieve. We've known for some time that teachers make a difference. Well, of course. What we don't know and, and what we need to know is what is it about effective classroom teachers that, if you will, we can bottle? What is it about effective professional development that we can use in places around this country? The research needs in that particular area are critical, and, if, and it's a tremendous call, in my opinion, for teacher education around this country, both at the pre-service level and in service as well. One aspect of our work with teachers is the recognition that we should consider, at the very least, elementary math specialist, that is, person who has a specialist background in mathematics at the elementary level. Uh, you'll soon hear comments from Bill Haver from Virginia Commonwealth regarding that state's model program that is statewide, I believe, uh, not I believe, I know, that is statewide and, and will, I think, uh, engage all of us in an important initiative. But let me add the following. At a time of teacher surplus at the elementary school level, it's per perhaps time to con consider scrapping the model of the elementary teacher as generalist. Why not have specifically trained elementary math specialists starting from day one of their career? I'd like to make a few statements about learning. One of the issues at the core of what has become known in education circles as the math wars has been a discussion, some would argue a debate, around conceptual understanding, skill development, and problem solving. What's important here? Well, all of it. This is not an either-or proposition. 
The National Math Panel has stated very clearly that understanding mathematics conceptually, becoming proficient in the use of procedures, and extending this to understanding and proficiency to solve problems must be developed simultaneously. Students, all students, need to make sense of the mathematics they are learning, and how better to do that than to solve problems involving mathematics, whether that's deciding the impact of that 5% finance charge or that seemingly day-to-day -day increase at the gas pump. A very important message from the panel's report addresses an issue that, frankly, drives me crazy. Mathematics is important for every student in every classroom in this country, regardless of grade level, gender, race, or ethnicity. This is not a for nerds only subject. It is a, it is a for everyone's opportunity. There is no math gene. One of the most important findings in the math panel's report is that effort matters. So once and for all, we need to stop the parent conference that begins with the phrase, well, you know, I was never good in math either. Math is important for our culture, for our country, and for our children. In addressing this, its charge from the president, the National Math Panel's work was very much directed by research. However, the panel found that far more educational research is needed. Research of all kinds and types must drive what we do in this field of mathematics education. And importantly, in a No Child Left Behind with AYP looming every year, pre-K through 12 schools should be provided with incentives and resources to provide venues for and encourage collaboration in educational research. We need to find ways to make this happen. And finally, the America Competes legislation calls for funding a Math Now initiative for $95 million to improve mathematics instruction at the elementary and middle school levels. I encourage you to support this, this initiative and move it forward. Thanks for this opportunity. I look forward to your questions later.